guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun video. I feel like this video should have gotten filmed in January, but I am kind of a late bloomer when it comes to YouTube. I just do whatever I want when I want, and I was thinking a lot about my goals for my makeup collection and my YouTube videos this year, and so I made a little list and I wanted to share them with you. So let me know what you guys think of my list or if I should add anything, if I should tweak anything. I'd be really curious and then maybe in 2018 if I remember we can go over my goals and see if I achieved any of this stuff. So without further ado, if you're curious for my makeup and channel goals for 2018, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I made a little list and my first thing that I want to make sure I try and do more of is only buy things I want, not because they are the next new thing. Now, so far I feel like I'm at a 50-50 here. I'm definitely failing in some aspects because I have like zero control when it comes to eyeshadow palettes because I'm like really into eyeshadow palettes. Like I just bought the MAC Cosmetics X Jeremy Scott eyeshadow palette. I had a feeling it was going to be a not so great eyeshadow palette, but I bought it anyway because it was pretty. And that's what I want to do less of this year. So I've been really trying to think about palettes and what they bring into my collection. And so I've been avoiding a few of the neutral palettes that have been coming out and just trying really hard not to buy every single palette. And so far it's been going pretty good. I've also, you know, been trying to really think things through as far as repeat shades, unique, you know, uniqueness of the palettes and things like that. But I have failed a few times like with the Jeremy Scott one and I also may have bought a Morphe palette and like instantly regretted purchasing a Morphe palette. So we'll see. I don't know how much I'm ready to reveal on my Morphe purchase because you guys know I basically hate Morphe. But okay, I'll talk about it. I was at Ulta and I swatched the 3502 palette, specifically just that like red orange shade that's in it, like the only colorful shade that's in that palette, and it was gorgeous. Like it swatched so beautifully on my hand. I was like, okay, maybe Morphe's made some changes, maybe they've come around. So I like instantly just bought the palette, but then today I was doing my makeup and I actually used it to do this makeup look. It was not good. Like the shimmer shades were really bad and I was like, Morphe, you mother freaking fucker. <laughs> like they tricked me. Ugh. So I'm really mad about that and I'm ashamed. So there's a few palettes like I really didn't need to buy, but I bought anyway because I'm a total pushover, but I'm going to try and do that less this year. So... <laughs> The next thing I want to do with my makeup collection is, of course, declutter my collection. Now, I feel like I was off to a really good start this year because I did list a bunch of makeup on Poshmark. I got rid of a lot of palettes I was just holding on to for the sake of holding on to, and there's definitely more potential. I think I should say declutter slash return because... Sometimes I like hold on to things that I really shouldn't that I should be returning So my goal for 2018 with my makeup collection is to sell or donate or give away or Return makeup that I'm not using because it's just not worth holding on to this stuff does expire and I have been inspired a lot by a lot of those declutter channels and like cutthroat channels The thing that's hard though is because I am a small channel I do buy all this makeup, so I'm not just gonna like get rid of shit for the sake of getting rid of it just to make a video, but I wanna be more thoughtful and make sure that I'm only holding on to things that really matter to me in my makeup collection because I do have limited space and I want everything to kind of be in my collection that I love, just not having things for the sake of having them. Okay, another goal of mine in 2018 is of course to use as much makeup that I already own as possible. Now, this is definitely difficult, especially when it comes to, again, eyeshadow palettes. I feel like I keep going back to eyeshadow palettes, but that's really my vice. <laughs> 
is eyeshadow palette. So what I've been trying to do is seeing products in my collection. I'm like, I could use that up. I, I really like that. I should use it up so that I can, you know, get my money's worth. And I have a little drawer back there and I actually filmed a video showing you guys like things I'm trying to use up this year. And I feel like that's progress for me that I have that little drawer that I can grab to from every day so that I slowly use things up and, you know, hold myself accountable for project panning. I'm not a project pan channel, um, nor do I feel like I'm an expert on it at all. I might not even get through any of these products like that I think I am, but gosh darn, am I going to try to use up some of my makeup this year because I'm so sick of just buying, 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 buying and not, you know, completely using up stuff. I remember Back in the day, before I got really, really sucked into YouTube and makeup and stuff, I would actually finish a bottle of foundation before I bought the next bottle of foundation. And I need to get back to that because I don't want this stuff to go bad and it's literally coming out of my pocket. So I'm, I'm literally just burning money and it's important to me. So I'm going to try and do that more this year and not just buy every new foundation and every new mascara and all that junk. And uh, neither should you, frankly. So that is my other goal for 2018. Now, as much as I do want to use up my collection, I do also want to try new brands. So something I have been doing is trying not to keep purchasing from brands I've already tried. So a big example of that right now that I can think of off the top of my head is like Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have bought every single Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that's come out in like the last couple of years. And uh, frankly, I'm getting kind of like sick of it. I love the brand. I think they do good stuff. But I'm also kind of like, mm, you know, it's like the same one trick pony. Like, great, here's another neutral palette. Here's another jumbled up palette of colors that they gave us this year. So after Subculture happened, and then I bought the Prism palette, and I'm like, Karen, why did you buy this palette? Like, it's not even like exciting you and it's just sitting in my collection collecting dust and then soft glam came out and they were doing liquid lipsticks they were doing a highlighter and they did bronzers and I'm like I don't want any of that stuff I've already tried all the eyeshadow formulas I need to try from Anastasia if I was like a professional makeup artist and I needed like products that were go-to products every single day I would keep investing in it but I'm not and YouTube is my hobby, so I want to get into trying new brands, seeing what's out there, seeing what new innovative products brands are coming out with. So yeah, I'm trying to try new brands and kind of keep some of those brands I constantly go back to at bay. And so I feel like I did a good job with ABH, but another brand I need to stop continuing to purchase from is ColourPop. Like I'm definitely guilty of just constantly constantly buying ColourPop and uh, that needs to stop so I'm gonna try and do that. Okay so my next goal is to make more YouTube friends. It is so hard you guys. I feel like I barely keep in touch with the friends I have like in real life so keeping in touch with YouTubers is really really tough but I feel like after Angelica's video and meeting some other content creators. It's been really, really cool to get to know some of these people. And I just think that if you are a content creator or you're a makeup junkie like me, just please like reach out to me because I love talking to people about makeup and products and things like that. And so I'm really excited with like being featured by Angelica. And I feel like I consider her a friend, a, a beauty guru, somebody I can talk to, and I'll always like DM makeup struggles and she DMs me back. So I'm trying to create more YouTube friendships and I think it's cool because what's the point of being friends with people that are exactly like you? I think it's fun to be friends with people that have different ideas and that constantly inspire me. So definitely want to make more YouTube friends because it's really cool and I love it. Okay, the last goal I have, this is a makeup collection goal, is to organize my collection better. I am so blessed because for Christmas in 2017 and my birthday, it was like a combo gift. My husband actually bought me all the Ikea drawers, like the Alex drawers. Now, I didn't want to be a basic bitch and buy the Alex 9 drawers, but it was honestly the best solution for storing makeup. 
that was affordable. If you guys have ever looked into vanities, they cost a lot of freaking money. And they don't really make vanities for like beauty guru level <laughs> makeup collections. So I think the Alex drawers are really one of the best ways. So I actually have the tabletop. I have the Alex 5 drawers for my desk. And then I have two sets of the Alex 9 drawers. So I have enough space where my collection can grow. Like... I didn't just do the desk, I also added two of the nine drawers because I knew that if my collection was to grow, I needed extra room. So I do have a lot of drawers that are empty, which is a good thing because if I want to add more to my collection, I have room to do that, which is like, it was a purposeful investment. It wasn't just something like, oh my gosh, I want everything that everyone else has. No, I thought about it and I thought the Alex drawers was the best way for me. I don't like to keep like all of my makeup on display, even though it looks like I have a shit ton of makeup behind me. Um, but a lot of it is in these drawers and uh, I'm still trying to figure out what the best way to do it is yet. They're not organized. I would love to film a makeup collection video for you guys. So organizing this room and getting it up into shape where I can film a bomb ass beauty room and makeup collection video is one of my goals for 2018. Okay guys, that is everything for my YouTube channel slash makeup collection goals of 2018. Of course, I feel like without mention, I would love to see my channel grow. I do try to set like a goal for subscribers even though it's not like the end of the world so last year my goal was to hit a thousand subscribers and I actually ended up hitting a thousand subscribers in January of this year so I feel like I wasn't too far off and so basically my goal for this year is to just double that so I want to shoot for 2,000 and uh, you guys are just amazing and so I'm already at 1,300 ish and I'm excited I don't really care how many people end up watching my channel, whether it's like 10 people or 10,000 people. It just makes me so happy to read my comments and see like genuine makeup enthusiasts talking to me. Like it just makes my day. I have so many like subby friends that comment on all of my videos and it's so freaking cool. That's, that's the best part about YouTube is like all your subscriber friends that you make. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are a content creator, what some of your goals are for your channel. And if you guys are willing to share, please let me know what some of your personal goals are for 2018. I think some of mine are just focusing on being a better dog mom, being a better homemaker, because I honestly, you guys, could definitely do more around the house as far as like cooking and cleaning. Like, I haven't really gotten into the swing of that. I'm definitely more of like, once I get home, I just want to like sit there and be a blob. So definitely working on a few personal goals. But if you guys want to share some of your goals, personal goals, you know, closet goals, makeup goals, I would love to hear all about those in the comments below. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.